Paul Wagner, between the buried and me. Here I am. Here you are. Yes. So a Here few months are. ago, I called you up and said, "Hey, I've got this harebrained scheme to uh, to try to help out uh, young metal bands called Great New Metal." What was it that attracted you about the project? I didn't think it would ever get off the ground, so I just threw you a bone and said, "Yeah, it sounds cool, man." No, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, it sounded to me like, uh, well, knowing you uh, for for the I guess a few years that we've, we've known each other, I know that you're a, a passionate guy about. Uh, about heavy metal and, and, and metal and progressive music in general. So that was really, you know, that was a big part of it was that it was coming kind of out of your mouth. So I, I trusted what you were doing and I knew it was coming from a good place. And um, also, uh, your, you know, your experience as, as kind of a, as a journalist in, in the journalism industry, I knew that, um, that it would be an intelligent site. It would, uh, you know, it wouldn't be sort of you know it wouldn't ever be at risk of, of devolving into some sort of weird yeah. uh you know like like what you see on the internet where you know, it's message boards and you know people talking talking shit about bands and stuff like that so i thought it would be something that would definitely be positive and really uh, you know shine a light on on good music and young bands and young musicians that are trying to get out there and make a name for themselves and work hard and and uh, and push you know, push this genre to the next level, which is kind of what um, Between the Buried Me has been all about, and and a lot of other bands out there. Every band on this bill, for example, is doing that too. So um, I just thought it was a you know a good thing. It was going to be a, a positive addition to the to the scene, I guess. And so um, that's really what attracted me to it. I just I think it's it's a it's a great idea, and um, you know certainly the the internet uh, needs something like that. Excellent. So. So BT Bam's been doing this for about ten years. Talk about the kind of the changes that you've seen in the in the process for young bands as they uh, as they try to succeed and the way things are now. Well, it's it's completely different than when we started. You know, we started, you know, really before the the internet phenomenon and, and digital downloading and all that. Really, before that, it really took hold. Um, so for us, it was it was a more you know um, it was more about you know, recording a demo and actually burning, I mean, I remember burning CDs at a very slow rate on a crappy, you know, HP desktop and just burning them one at a time, you know, till four in the morning, you know, and you play shows and you sell your demos and you hopefully save enough to rent a van and do a weekend of shows or something like that. So it's, nowadays it's, it's obviously you don't have to do any of that. You can kind of skip that whole process. Kids are, you know, you can buy Pro Tools and record a, a you know, record a awesome sounding record in your bedroom, um, and and then you know put it on the internet. You know, SoundCloud, Facebook, MySpace, you know whatever the case may be. It's easy to get your music out to the masses. Where when we started, it wasn't that easy. You know, it was more like you just had to dig in and and go for it. You know, you had to play shows and stuff like that. Now, now it's you know it's quite possible you know to get your music out there to a ton of people without ever playing a show. And there's example. You know, there's bands that. That have never played a show, but people know who they are and, and listen to them and stuff like that. So, it's just a, a much different thing. I think there's there's positives and negatives to that. Um, I mean, obviously, the positive is that you can get your music out there to a lot of people who are interested in, in hearing it. The negative is that maybe it's a, it's easy to get spoiled by the technology. You know. Well, and the negative also is that anyone can do it. So how do you tell what's worthy versus what's not? Out exactly. of all that clutter. That's exactly. Out there. You have to really. Um, and and a big and you know I kind of talked to you about this a little when when you mentioned the great new metal thing is that. For me, I think ultimately you do have to, you know, if you're going to commit yourself to being a, a musician, full-time musician, especially in this genre, it's it's a blue-collar job. You know, you have to get out there, you have to get on the road, you have to tour, you have to work hard. You know, it, it, like you said, it's easy to sit in your room and make a record with all this fantastic software that's out there now, and all that stuff is great. But ultimately, if you want to be successful, you have to work and you have to get out there and you have to, um, you know, you kind of have to hit the streets and play shows and play people's basements and whatever you can, you know, do to to show people that you pl right. that you play your instruments, that you're not just a a recording. You're a band and you and you and you play. And that's uh, that's something that um, you know. I hope that what you're doing will uh, kind of give bands sort of that that push that they need. Yeah, um, that that initial kind of, yeah. that initial kickstart to 
they'll get some recognition and and then and then hopefully they will they would take that ball and run with it and play shows and and, and sell merch and yeah. you know hopefully Let's talk get about signed. the merch thing here a little bit because one of the things that we're trying to do is not just give these bands exposure and publicity and buzz but also maybe help them generate a little bit of actual revenue talk a little bit about the economics of the business and and how important merch is and well merch is that. i mean merch um, you know for us uh, our band which i consider us kind of a mid-level um a band you know we we do okay we, you know we're not bon jovi or anything but uh we do okay but merch the is the world will be a cooler place when you are bon jovi yeah, yeah. but you know merch is is absolutely you have to have it you have to sell it you have to have it you know we depend on merch sales you know if we didn't have merch sales we couldn't do this we kind of look at it as merch for us on the road pays for our expenses that's how we kind of look at it the profits we get from from selling merch pays for our tour bus or and the gas and hotels and all that stuff and then and then you know our income we we look at it as coming from the door money and stuff like that so Merch is a huge and CD part. CD really is not a part of it for you. See, we don't sell CDs. I mean, we do, but right. negligible amount. I mean, that's the reality. You're not gonna, uh, you don't sell many CDs. You know, and when it first comes out, you might sell some at shows, but in general, we don't really sell a lot of CDs. It's mostly cloth. Um, sh- kids love T-shirts, right. you know, and and you can't really download a T-shirt uh, yet, you know. Um, so kids like shirts it gives them something to sort of remember the show by um and and it, you know that when people find a band they like they like to show off the band so it's a great you know people love wearing shirts yeah. you know i'm a panthers fan i love wearing a panthers jersey on game day go panthers but um so it's the same thing with the band you know uh you like a band you want to wear their shirt you want people to see that you like the band so merch is a, is a huge thing it's and it's not only a great way to uh, obviously generate revenue but um, it's advertising too. You know, people say, "Hey, what's that? You know, what's that band you got there?" So, um, I mean, one of the things that we hope to do for the users in Great New Metal is to give them that sort of social currency of they know about the sick new bands and have a chance to show it off absolutely. before their friends do. Those other sites cover the bands their friends already know about. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's that's all part of the game. You know, and I hate to call it a game, but it is. You know, you have to. You have to. So there's certain things you have to do, and that's certainly one of those things. And it's a big, and that's a big deal, you know. Especially now that, you know, you're not gonna, you know, this is a reality. You're not gonna sell a lot of records. So, um, the, the the cloth as, aspect of it is is a big, is a big deal for for bands, especially young bands that are trying to finance themselves on the road and stuff like that. So. Finally, we're, we're approaching young bands to want to be featured on Great New Metal. What would you say to a young band considering signing up with this? Um, well, you know, obviously, if, you know, I, I encourage people to, to, to really, if you're going to go for it, you got to go for it. And, uh, you know, there's no, there's no pussyfooting around, you know. Um, and, and obviously your site is, is going to be a, a big deal if, if a band can get... Um, get you know get on it and be exposed and stuff like that so you know be serious about your craft be be you know um i guess you know be aggressive with, with wanting to get out there and do your thing and and um you know i think that uh if you're really passionate about doing it and it's something that that inside you you know then um then go for it and i think that that it you know your site will be a great opportunity for for young bands to really get that sort of initial kickstart and uh so yeah to, to those bands i just say you know work hard um you know stay humble but um work hard and 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 just keep keep going you're gonna hit road bumps but uh you know it happens we still hit them all the time 10 years later but you you bounce back and it makes you stronger and all that stuff so it's a slow it's a slow start it's hard hard to get going but your site will be very helpful to a lot of young bands and uh so i definitely hope they they take it uh take advantage of the opportunity so anything else you want to add in this um i think we covered everything i appreciate your time absolutely i really appreciate your support yeah i'm i'm certainly proud to even be associated with it even if it's in mostly in name only i, I think it's great i really do I think it's great <laughs>